our brothers, the Taliban. Everybody is freaking out over what a liberal MP just said, and I got to tell you, this is not a big deal. And I'll explain exactly why, and I'll also uh, show you a what I found to be very impressive response here from one of the party leaders. I'll get to that in a minute. First, let me show you what that statement was. So this is Liberal MP Miriam Monsef. To be clear here, I am not a supporter of the Liberal Party. I am not voting for the Liberals this election, but there is nothing wrong with this clip, and I'll explain exactly why. But first, here it is. I want to take this opportunity to speak to our brothers, the Taliban. We call on you to ensure the safe and secure passage of any individual in Afghanistan out of the country. So that's it. <laughs> that's what everybody is freaking out about. She referred to the Taliban as our brothers. Now, she is doing this in the context of trying to persuade them to safely allow civilians to leave the country. Would it have made more sense to antagonize them in that process? Or does it make more sense to try and be kind to them in the hopes that maybe they get that message and then are more, li uh, more likely to allow civilians to safely leave? Now, even if it doesn't do anything, why not try? Would it really make sense to antagonize them or, or even be neutral? Why not try and in the moment just attempt to try to be a little kinder in the in the hopes in the goal of allowing civilians safe passage but no no logic at all involved in analyzing this and again i don't care for the liberals i'm not voting liberal i especially don't like mary monsef and her failure when it came to electoral reform and to be fair that's largely an issue with trudeau and not really monsef but still i i don't care for the liberals this is not a big deal and to give you extra context here, to show you why you really shouldn't care about this either, this from Global News. Mary Monsef was 11 when she fled from the Taliban with her mother and two sisters. Quote, violence is one of the reasons we ended up in Canada, she says. Monsef and her sisters left behind a childhood in Afghanistan marked by tra uh, tragedy and danger. My dad was killed, caught in a crossfire. My uncle was taken from his dormitory one night for speaking up against what was happening politically, never to be seen or heard from again. Her father, her uncle, both killed by the Taliban. She fled the Taliban. She's an Afghan refugee. If she doesn't see an issue with these with this statement, then why should you care? It's incredible people find a way to outrage about anything. Now, here is how she replied to uh, in defense of these statements, saying, quote, if they will ever be recognized as a legitimate party, this is the starting point, she added. The reference to brothers is a cultural reference, of course. When asked if she would like to take back the comments, she explained that members of the Muslim community often refer to each other as brothers and sisters. Rest assured, I continue to believe deeply that the Taliban are a terrorist organization, she said. Monsef's comments have been met with a huge backlash on social media, intensifying the public criticism of the country's response to the Afghanistan crisis. Now, because... I am fair and objective. Let me show you a uh, response to Monsef's defense here from Fatima Saeed, who tweeted out, there aren't a lot of Muslim political journalists in Canada, so I have to regrettably say something about Mary Monsef. Fact, brothers is a term of respect. False, Muslims call the Taliban brothers. Opinion, this was dumb. Solution, move on. There's lives on the line. So even when there's criticism here of what Mary Monsef said, I think I'll, we can all agree, move on. There's lives on the line. This was one comment that even if you think it was dumb, even though I think strategically, if they're going to hear this, it wasn't dumb. But even if you want to say it's dumb, not a big deal, especially considering it came out of the mouth of an Afghan refugee who fled the Taliban. Now, this, of course, made headlines even in American media. <laughs> this is from Mediaite. Canadian cabinet member catches blowback for referring to Taliban as our brothers during press conference. Unbelievable. And uh, of course, Canadian media all over this as well. Yet it's funny. They haven't they haven't uh, returned to uh, uh, or, or revisited their position on Afghanistan that they helped support, that they pushed the support of back when the war began, that they clearly were wrong about. But that isn't a big deal. This one comment, huge deal from an Afghan refugee. Oh, can't say our brothers. But the fact that Every single Canadian paper supported the war has not been revisited. 
They have not uh, come out apologizing for this. So Globe and Mail supported it. Toronto Star supported it. National Post supported it. I mean, their comments here are hilarious. Canada's military contribution to the war in Afghanistan will thus protect lives back home and improve many more lives overseas. Wow, look, let's look at all the lives overseas that saved. More than 71,000 Afghan and Pakistani civilians are estimated to have died as a direct result of the war. Yeah, saved so many lives overseas. Great war. Accomplished nothing. Bin Laden wasn't even in Afghanistan. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now let me show you a response from the, the party leaders. Uh, I'm not going to play the boring ones because, you know, it's the usual. So Trudeau avoids answering, avoids directly re responding to the, the actual comments and just calls the Taliban terrorists. Okay, typical Trudeau response. Uh, Aaron O'Toole, of course, uh, goes after it and says it's unacceptable language and references the threat of the Taliban saying that the Trudeau government in general, I guess, uses unacceptable language. But um, this response surprised me. And this is, it is so rare. Look, I have my definite criticisms of uh, Jagmeet Singh as, as leader, but it is so rare to see a lawmaker like this not jump at the chance to criticize a party over comments that make it, you know, big headlines like these are. But he didn't. And here's his response to uh, the whole thing. Sure. Um, I don't want to score any political points off the language used by Minister Monsef. I want to reiterate right now, my position is very clear. Taliban is a terrorist group. They've done horrific things. And my focus is on making sure our allies are evacuated. And I'm, I'm deeply troubled that a number of veterans have, have raised more and more evidence that they put forward their concerns to the Canadian government. They raised those concerns that evacuating our allies would take more time, it would be difficult, and that the process should be streamlined and easy. And we're hearing more and more evidence that, that their, their, their calls for this to receive attention were not listened to. That to me is really troubling, and that responsibility lies on the feet of Justin Trudeau. But at this point, I really want to encourage the Canadian government to do everything possible to evacuate our allies. Look at that. <laughs> the one political leader here not playing politics. He could have easily dunked on Mary Monsef and the Liberal Party over those comments utilize his opportunity to try and raise his profile, raise his party in, in, in all of this, but he didn't do that. He turned the conversation back towards getting people out of Afghanistan because that is what is actually important here. So, you know, for my criticisms of Jagmeet Singh in, in other areas as leader, this was impressive, but it's rare. And you have the rest of the media and basically every other lawmaker in, in the other parties uh, slamming Mary Monsef over this, and it's just completely over nothing.